Hello friends, so in this video we are going to talk about analysis of square plate with board. So this is our problem statement you can see on screen. So there is one fixed support and one force is applied on a square plate having dimension 100 mm by 100 mm. One circular hole is there at the center of dimension 20 mm. And one force is applied at this end of 200 Newton. The thickness of this plate is negligible and the Young's modulus of this material is 200 into 10 raised to power 3 megapascal and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3. We will try to solve this problem by using analysis software. Also, we will try to solve the problem by using analytical method. So let's get started with analysis software. So just I have opened ANSYS workbench. Now I am going to track static structure. Just double click on engineering data. Here by default one material is there. You can add your own material. You can name that material like steel 101. You can put any name. So we can set the properties of this steel 101. So I am going to put isotropic elasticity. So just double click on this isotropic elasticity. So if this window is not expanded, you can expand this window like this. And then you can put your Young's modulus. And here you can see the units. So different units are there. I am going to put my Young's modulus in terms of megapascal. So it is 200 e to the power 3. And I am going to put uh, Poisson's ratio as 0 0.3. You can check your Young's modulus by converting this megapascal into pascal. So it is 2 into 10 raised to 11. So I am going to do the static structure analysis. It does not have, uh, involve any thermal analysis, so I am not going to put any temperature properties. Now I am going to close this engineering data. Now let's go to the geometry. Right click on the geometry. Go to the properties. And change the analysis type as 2D. We are going to do the two dimensional analysis, so that's why. You have to change the analysis uh, type as 2D. Then again right click on geometry and go to the new design modular geometry. It will take some time to open. So I am going to select the plane as XY plane. Then click on this Z direction arrow. So you will get this 2D plane. You can change your units also. So I am going to change my unit from meter by default it is meter to millimeter. Then we have to draw one rectangular plate or square plate. So I will go to the sketching, go to the rectangle, just click and drag. We can give the dimensions by using this dimension toolbar. So here it is general, you can choose horizontal or vertical. Just click on the line whose dimension you want to give. So I am going to give the horizontal dimension. So I will click here and drag it. So H1 I am going to put as 100 because my length of the plate is 100 ml and this V2 I am going to put as 100 ml again because my height is also 100 ml. You can click on this pan zoom to fit sorry you can click on this zoom to fit in order to fit your object on the screen. Then I am going to draw the circle so go to the draw click on circle and anywhere you can draw the circle 
again you can set the dimensions so I'm going to set the diameter in my case diameter is 20 mm then uh, I need to fix its position so for that again I'm going to click on center then center point of the circle and this line distance between these two it is 50 mm likewise the center and this line the distance between these two is again 50 mm so right now your circle is at the center <laughs> then uh, we need to create the surface by using this sketches so just click on concept and the surfaces from sketches now uh, we have to select the objects we have to select the objects so here selection method you can see single select is there and box select is there now I'm going to select the box select and I'm going to form a box around this object and click on apply so my box is selected but yet it is not generated for that you have to right click on surface and click on generate so the surface is generated so I'm going to save this workbench file Now I will go to the model, just double click on the model, it will take some time, so this model app is open, and we can see our geometry is imported in this model, so just click on geometry expand it click on surface body and assign the material so you can see in the material assignment option is there right now it is a structural still that is by default material just click on that click a small arrow near to that and change our material to steel 101 then right now we are not going to do any non-linear or thermal analysis so just click this non-linear effects as no thermal strain effects as no then go to the mesh directly you can generate the mesh right click on the mesh option and click on generate mesh you can see the mesh is generated but if you want to have the fine structure you can click on like element order you can set any kind of element order like program control like uh, then linear or quadratic so right now I'm going to select linear and element size also you can put so right now I'm going to put element size as 0.001 meter click anywhere again right click on the mesh and again click on generate mesh so it will take some time you can see here at any time if you want to stop this meshing operation you can click here and you can stop that so this is my mesh I think it is uh, fine enough so now I will go to the static structure again right click on that then insert we have to set the boundary conditions like first I am going to put the force so in our case force is there on extreme right hand side so I am going to click on force then we need to select the geometry in our case it should be the edge 
of this plate then we have to select this edge by default this edge is coming but still if you want to ensure that won't be edge is selected you can click here and select this edge once you have selected click apply in the geometry tab you can check this highlighted mark is there that indicate that the geometry is selected now our type is force and it is defined by the components so here i'm going to put the components so there are two components since it is two dimensional x component and y component so in our case i'm going to put x component value as 200 newton and y component value as 0 so this is my force one of the boundary condition second boundary condition is this surface this line is fixed line that also we have to set so again go to the static structure right click on that click on insert then you can see fixed support so i'm going to choose fixed support then again you have to choose the edge so ensure that you are clicking on this edge only then click on apply so again you can observe this edge is selected and since it is fixed with support so we don't have to put any target <laughs> then you can go to the solution just right click on the solution and what output you want that you can set like suppose I want deformation that is directional deformation so that I can choose suppose I want stress then that also I can check so stress these type of stresses are there so I will choose one my stress so likewise you can put uh, likewise uh, whatever you want at the output you can choose that from the solution tab there are there are different outputs like you can see deformation strain stress energy in, in that also there are many subtypes so you can choose that so for my analysis right now it is sufficient okay so just click on right click on solution and click on solve This will solve this. The solution is completed. You can check your solution directly. You can click on directional deformation. You can observe this is the maximum deformation, this is minimum deformation, and the highlighted part also you can see here. If you don't want this mesh structure, you can go to the result, then edges, and no wire frame. That may structure will not be there. Likewise, you can check the equivalent stresses also. So here also you can see the equivalent stresses. So maximum equivalent stress is at this point. You can see. Zoom in by using the scroller. So at this point the stress is maximum, and this blue regions indicate at that point stress is minimum. And the value also you can check by using this legend. So this is a maximum value of stress is 6.432 into 10 raised to 6 Pascal. So you need also you can check it is a Pascal. So just let's compare this with our analytical solution. Or just try to solve the analytical solution of the same. And then we'll try to compare these two. So as per the numerical simulation, our maximum value of stress is we can say it is uh, 6.432 into 10 raised to 6 Pascal. Okay, let's solve the same thing by using analytical method. So let's try to solve analytical solution of the same problem. So first try to find out nominal stress so nominal stress we can find out like force divided by minimum area 
so in this case uh, force is 200 newton and area is this whole uh, uh, width that is capital D that is 100 mm and the diameter of this hole that is 20 mm so I'm putting in SI units so finally my nominal stress is 2.5 into 10 raised to 6 newton per meter square per meter Now, in order to find out the stress concentration factor, we need to use uh, such graph from the design data book. So, in this graph, you can see this uh, on the x axis, the ratio is there small d by capital D, and the meaning of that term is also given here. So, according to your ratio, you can find out your stress concentration factor, and by using that, you can find out your maximum stress. So, in our case, this ratio d by d is 20 divided by 100 that is 0 0.2 and from the graph we can see the value of stress concentration factor is around 2.53 so by using this stress concentration factor we want to find out maximum stress so let's try to find out maximum stress So maximum stress is stress concentration factor into nominal stress. So ultimately we are getting this value. Okay. Now you can compare this value with our numerical value. So numerical simulation value we are getting it is 6.432 and analytical solution we are getting 6.325. So we are getting approximately close solution. Now by changing the mesh structure again we can improve this numerical simulation answer. So that's all 